Okay, well, it's raining. It's terrible outside. I saw some stupid videos yesterday um, about why you don't need so many plugins and oh, you know, plugins used to cost waves used to cost seven thousand dollars twenty years ago. Um, there's too many options. If you have too many options, it's gonna it's gonna define your sound as being undefined. So having less options will make you have a sound. I thought that was interesting. I just wanted to, I have a track up right now that I'm doing a quick mix of, and um, I did the production of it. It's, it's for a separate project of mine. Uh, and I just wanted to kind of go over real quick options. Um, so let's just look at the, on the drums, the main drums, I have a, an addictive drum kit, um, that I tweaked probably from some other preset. This one's called the Tony Black Indie Beauty. Why? Why am I using a Ludwig nickel snare on the Black Beauty? I don't know. I think I started on a Black Beauty snare. There's the, um... There's the snare now. There's the kick now. I'll play the drums for you solo so you can hear what they sound like um, in the mix. So as you can see, we don't have a million tracks here. We got, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't know, about 10 tracks. And then the drums. But I mean, if you consider the drums to be um, eight or 10 tracks because it's all mixed inside of uh, Addictive, and you know, you're at a 24 track mix or something like that. So I'll play what's going on with those drums. And this is, this is, this is all Addictive. This is some beat that I tweaked from somewhere. I'll try and show you. Um, you, you basic kick, snare. There's a hat thing. Crash. Then I see I'm using a crash from a sample that I have. Yes, probably from Splice. One of those deals. So if you had the kick and, I mean, the kit and the crash, you have this. Now, now, what's on that kit? Kit. Um, well, internally on addictive, you know, you can do a million different things. You can have all kinds of uh, tape saturation, um, compression. Obviously, change all the different snare drums and kick drums and drum sounds to whatever you want them to be. Uh, then you could have room mics and overhead mics and a bus with effects. Uh, I think I only have, doesn't seem like I'm doing much there. So on the, on the master, I have a little bit of, um, if you could follow my cursor, I have a little bit of uh, shelving going on or filtering, whatever you want, high pass, low pass. Um, saturation, some compression, four to one and really fast attack kind of surprises me in some ways. And then I also have, uh, on top of that, I'm running the UA Fairchild. And it's, let's be real, it's barely breathing on it. There's some overboard so you can hear what it does. I'll go with that for now. Uh, so let's go back to the, let's just add some stuff. So right now you can see I'm up to a whopping, I'm, I'm on one plugin right there. On the crash, I put the obligatory 
lo-fi, good old school Avid, um, with my Tony TB MPC sort of setting that I came up with. Um, a little 224 plate, which I'll get to. It's not really a 224. That's what the bus is still named. Um, I'm using super plate as my only overall reverb. Okay. And that's on the crash. And it's on this riser thing. Let's see what that is. The riser. It's this crazy thing. So that in the context of the drums, it's not really a drum thing. You learn something new every day. I don't know why I have that near the drums. Usually that would be down over here with my synth stuff. So then let's move into the bass. Let's just add the bass in just for laughs. Um, and I'll get to the whole arrangement at some point soon. bass what's on that um a little bit of this avid compressor somewhat slow attack uh 10 to 1 ratio so it's almost like a little bit of a limiter but it's got a not the fastest release pretty crushed it's like a rock thing and what else there's something else on top channel strip another bundled plugin doing a little bit of the same kind of deal on a compression thing and then some high pass low pass uh we're at about what are we out about? Uh, about 65 and then rolling off at about 3.9 or 4K. Not too complicated. Let's get into the guitars. So I have a an auxiliary sort of thing set up here uh, as a send just for the guitars with my effects rack thing. Now, I'm a big fan of sound toys and uh, I like to use the the big com combined thing, the effects rack thing. Some guys for some reason can't handle the, uh, the, I don't know, they can't handle it. They're like, wow, you use effects rack? I'm like, why, why the hell wouldn't you use a FX rack? You could just plop any of these things in there and build a rack. Uh, so on the guitar, well, on this, you can see we had a little of this um, harmonic destruction stuff with uh, the Devil Lock and then uh, Echo Boy tap tempo thing. I believe this is set for... A little bit of a ping pong -y kind of thing, a little bit of an edge, um, U2 edge guy thing. Uh, and the whole thing is set to 100% mix. Doing what it does as an aux. So here's the, let's see, the main guitar, I guess, would be this. So let's just solo that. So as you can see, that channel is being sent to the, and the effects rack is on the uh, send. So a little bit of reverb is going there too. Uh, that's the super plate. This is the effects rack send. So. <laughs> So that was recorded with a little bit of 
effects, like a little bit of reverb and some shimmer I can hear in there. You can hear that octave thing. <laughs> Um, so, you know, with the effects. That's one guitar. Then you have this guitar that comes in a little before it. Other guitar with a this looks like it might be a uh, splice thing of some sort yeah that may or may not be replayed at some point I don't know uh, then I have a synth pad I'm trying to This was played on um, some kind of instrument, I don't know. Organ? Another synth pad. Some weird stuff. Then there's Rhodes. That's more like a whirly. And we have another riser, or is that, yeah, that's a new one. Right, and then another little bit of a sample thing. So let's just add some of these things in. things here uh the guitars like i said they're all a couple of them are being sent to the super effect rack thing from uh sound toys they all have just channel strip on them i didn't really go to my usual go well it's one of my go-to's um <clears throat> i could just as easily have used uh my ssl like say say what's going on here on this uh pad I mean, occasionally I'll use the, oh, look at all those plugins. Um, I'll use this. That's kind of like my main go-to if I'm really doing something that I'm digging in on. Now, these guys talk about having too many plugins and I don't know, all the other crazy shit. Um, think about the songs that you guys constantly romanticize about all this 90s boom bap stuff and 90s hip hop and 90s rock. Um, we didn't even have these plugins, but we did have this channel on, a, on an SSL and this was what you used. Uh, you might have had like, I don't know, you might have had four or five 1176s in a room if you were lucky. You might have had a couple of LA-2As, some DBX-160s. I'm not even using any on this. Certainly didn't have anything as powerful as effects rack, sound toys. Um, certainly didn't have addictive drums. And on my mix bus, I'm just doing my usual little SSL compressor, which we had in the console. And then I'm using Ozone, but you know, that's, that's a whole nother can of worms on the mastering tip. 
So I got a little bit of a gate compression, oh, just compression on this going on, on uh, the roads. I guess one's a, yeah, that's a gate, yeah. And then um, a little of this stereo with stuff from uh, air here and there. Um, I could turn, I could get rid of this. This was just to show you guys, um, no insert. What's the point of this? I have no idea, but I'll show you. Um, we'll, we'll get we'll go through the tune a little bit here. I won't get copyright striked, so or claimed. So from the top. So that'll give you an idea right there. Can I go to my main screen? It's just a quick little rundown. Maybe you'd have some fun with it, I don't know. Um, I did, I guess. And uh, we'll take it from there. Got my Von Dutch hat happening. Tribute to Charlie XCX. NME says her album was the number one album of, uh, the best album of 2024 pretty wild hitting the button